with mind mapping, there's a variety of options. You know, you've got a couple high-tech software options that are available to you. I'll cover some uh, free tech as well as some low-tech options that you can use to get started. Um, one high-tech option is MindJet's Mind Manager product. This is available at MindJet.com. Uh, you know, this product is, is really it's fantastic. It has an amazing set of features that uh, I've, I've used throughout the years, and it's got great usability. And what I really like is the two-way integration with the Microsoft Office Suite. Uh, it even includes Microsoft Project. But you can use this particular tool to uh, develop your PowerPoint presentation, and within one click, you're able to generate the power, the skeleton of the PowerPoint presentation, and then refine it further uh, as needed. So, and it also, it has uh, some native task management that's built into the mind maps. So if you wanted to track a small project schedule in a mind mapping format, it'll actually bring in some of these task features and identify late tasks and allow you to track uh, percentage completes and so on against those different nodes. Um, but the real big benefit is you have all these free templates that are available to you. Um, so if you get a chance, check out MindJet, and there's a software evaluation copy that you can download and, and play with. Now another option is if you're looking for a free option is FreeMind. This is a free mind mapping software that is available, uh, if you're familiar with the open source world, of SourceForge.net. You can just go to freemind.sourceforge.net. Uh, and there they have the, oh, it's an open source software project where they release frequent uh, releases of the latest set of binaries. Uh, you know, you're able to download it, and it, you know, it supports some basic mind mapping functionality. Um, so you can use that as an option to just get started with mind mapping. And there they do have uh, several export options where they can write to a PDF, a JPEG format, or if you're using the open office suite of tools, you can integrate with the, uh, the open office uh, Word document fairly easily. And there's even the, the good old low tech approach. I mean, you can still use good old pen and paper uh, as a way to uh, develop mind maps. Uh, in this case, you know, I often used this approach when I didn't have a software package or I didn't have a laptop that I was able to use. And I just take a, a notepad or a piece of paper, and I get a black pen, a blue pen, and a red pen. The black pen is used to document facts. The blue pen I use to identify questions. And the red pen I use to identify issues and action items. And later on after that meeting or after that discussion, I'm able to focus on the, the colors of where I want to focus on and help get the questions answered, follow up on the action items, and so on. Now, of course, you know, this is a low-tech option, so you will have to actually scan them and uh, send them you know, via email if you're trying to distribute them to the team. Um, but that's just one option that's available to you. If you're interested in learning more about mind mapping, uh, there's several project management articles that are available to you here. One is around a, a better project map, which introduces the concept of mind mapping for project management. Uh, we also talk about mind mapping your, your meetings, mind mapping a risk, mind mapping the job interview. In terms of books and blogs that are available, I mean, a quick Google search will, will turn up a lot of information about mind mapping. But these are just a few of the resources that I've used and I've, I've gotten some benefit from. Uh, Tony Buzan is, is really a good author on how to mind map, how mind map works, and how to actually go through and organize and create and, organ and plan using uh, the mind map uh, functionality. So here's a, a list of uh, several of the books that he has available. Uh, also, if you go to one of the blogs that are out there, you know, mindmapping.typepad.com is one that's available to you that I also often check just to learn about the, some of the latest techniques and, and advances that teams are using with mind mapping. So a couple of things that are available to you. Uh, if you're interested, you can go out to uh, my website, tacticalprojectmanagement.com, and you can download the mind map for this presentation. And I also have other mind map templates that are available to you. Uh, if you have any other questions about mind mapping and project management, you know, please feel free to shoot me an email. Below is my email below. Um, you know, I'm always looking for more success stories that are out there for how do you implement effective project management using mind mapping. So please feel free to, to reach out and uh, get, get a hold of me. We hope you enjoyed this presentation. And for more information, please join us at tacticalprojectmanagement.com.